For those friends and relatives who might be tuning in who don't know who I am, I'm Doug Iorardi, Principal of Valley Catholic High School. Welcome all to our virtual Class Day Awards presentation, an opportunity for us to honor and recognize some of our highest achieving students. I know none of you want to hear me talk any longer than is absolutely necessary. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Mrs. Brown, who will present our first award. Hello everyone, my name is Brenna Brown and I am the chair of the English department and I will be presenting our three English awards. Our first award is for creative writing and it is given in honor of Nick Ferrer. Nick Ferrer and Casey McCurry Armstrong were part of the class of 1998. Nick played on the baseball team and served as an editor of the school newspaper. He was a gifted writer and planned to make writing his career. His life, along with Casey's, was unforgettably cut short during their senior year at Valley Catholic High School. In memory of Nick, we are pleased to present the Nick Ferrer Creative Writing Award to Maddie Lee. Congratulations, Maddie. Our second award is for overall excellence in English, and this goes to the student that we feel has consistently produced excellence in every aspect of English. This year, the award goes to Emma Olson. Congratulations, Emma. Our final award is for academic writing, and the recipient this year has consistently produced pretty phenomenal academic writing. The award goes to Maddie Lee. Congratulations, ladies, and thank you, everyone, for a wonderful year. Hello, my name is Mrs. Deal, the art teacher at Valley Catholic High School, and today I'll be announcing two of the art awards. The first art award is the Casey McCurry Armstrong Excellence in Art Award, and this year it goes to Samantha Smith. The next award is the Excellence in Art, and this award goes to Carmen Hendrickson. Congratulations, ladies. Well deserved for all the hard work, dedication, and talent you showed this year. Hi, I'm Ginny Patterson. I'm the Fine Arts Department Chair, and I'm the yearbook teacher and uh, liturgy band advisor. First, I'll start with the yearbook award. Our small yearbook staff all deserve this award for putting together the yearbook especially in a year as challenging as this. However, one student stood out. The student came into yearbook without any prior experience and quickly showed a talent for photography, journalistic writing, and graphic design skills. She took seriously the idea about telling the story of this year at Valley Catholic. The yearbook award goes to Amanda Rocha. Two students received the Excellence in Drama Award this year. Ashley Baldino has been in every production on the Valley Catholic stage since her eighth grade year. She has also helped to construct and paint sets and has been the co-president of the drama club for the past two years. Evie Abel has been in production since her freshman year. She started out in the ensemble for High School Musical and this year uh, played the Fairy Queen in A Midsummer Night's Dream and a narrator in Joseph. She also came to almost every work party to help with sets, props, and most recently, costumes. Both of these students have grown in every role, on stage and off, and have become shining examples of valiant artists. The Excellence in Drama Award goes to Ashley Baldino and Evie Abel. The Sicilian Award goes to the student who not only exhibits excellence in their musical studies, but also shows great grace, generosity, and character. 
someone who exhibits the core values of the sisters. This year, the Fine Arts Department chose two seniors. Combined, they have been members of every single performing arts ensemble, with the possible exception of string ensemble. They have held leadership positions in choir, pet band, and drama. The recipients of the Sicilian Award are Ashley Baldino and Joseph Eisenbacher. Greetings Valley Catholic staff, students, and anybody watching our virtual class day. My name is Allison Gates and I am Director of Student Activities at Valley Catholic High School. It is a true honor today to be here in my cul-de-sac with three awards for incredible groups of people. The first goes to one student in each grade and it is called the Mystical Rose Award. The recipients for this award are chosen by the Valley Catholic faculty as a student from each class that exemplifies Christian values, serves selflessly, carries a positive and humble attitude, and strives for growth. This year, for the 2019-2020 school year, it is my honor to give the Mystical Rose Award to, for, from our freshman class, Ella Long, our sophomore class, Kylie King, our junior class, Will French, and our senior class, Emma Olson. Congratulations, you four. My next award is for a group of eight students who I've had the pleasure of working with all school year. It is a true honor to announce the leadership awards to this year's student body officers. If you enjoyed a Blue Crew event, bought a food drive auction item, laughed at an assembly, went to a homecoming event, felt like glitter posters followed you to every water fountain and into the bathrooms all over our buildings, or perhaps you thought Spirit Week was tuh. This is the group that worked tire tirelessly to make these events happen and brighten your high school experience. Before school even started, they put in nearly 40 hours of planning and prepping to bring something more to the Valley Catholic High School experience. They took shifts in between their various extracurricular activities and they grew the Blue Crew to have larger and more involved crowds. They also launched an incredible Spirit Week platform that broke records among class participation. They're also amazing individuals who I will miss dearly with my whole heart and I love so much. It is my great honor to award the following students with the leadership medallions for all their work in the 2019-2020 school year. First, we have our president, Allie Mers, our vice president, Eddie Elston, secretary, Parisa Sabet, our treasurer, Lauren Goodnow, and last but certainly not least, we have our four publicity managers, Will French, Trey Eberhardt, Sharif Hussein, and Caitlin O'Keefe. Thank you all so much for everything you've done for not just me, but our entire school. Last but certainly not least, this year I wanted to thank all of our class officers. From running class meetings to organizing your class for Spirit Week events and everything else in between, the student body officers and all of our student-based activities would be nothing without you. This year, we are awarding all of our class officers with pins as a tribute to their hard work and dedication to making this school year an unforgettable one. For the freshman class officers, we have Salvatore Satanga, Mona Sabet, Lindsay Volstek, and Sophie Olson. Our sophomore class officers, we have Anchantel, Ella Trecker, Kendall Lee, and Dylan Thanik. Our junior class officers, Luca Ford, Isaac Terrell, Avril Gompler, and Derek Cha. And lastly, our senior class officers, Nicholas Tabito, Maddie Lee, 
Emma Olson, and Kathy Pham. Thank you all so much for everything you've done. the privilege of recognizing all of the senior Eucharistic ministers. Thank you all for showing up and helping at masses throughout the year, and thank you for helping keep our faith the center of our school community. You'll all be receiving a pin to commemorate the time that you've served as a Eucharistic minister. I'd like to recognize Emily Bernards, Philip Canard, Olivia Delplanche, Sophia Fisher, Madeline Guthrie, Connor Maddow, and Emma Olson. Thank you. Happy Class Day, Valley Catholic. It is my distinct honor to announce the recipient of this year's Social Studies Award. Due to her excellent writing and in-class participation, this year's award winner is Sophia Fisher. Congratulations, Sophia. Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Burgess, a French teacher and world language head extraordinaire. I'm here to announce the recipients for the both the Spanish and the French uh, language awards. For the Spanish award, this student exemplified hard work and dedication all throughout her time in Spanish, and the winner is Emma Olson. And for the French award, this student, although sometimes late to class, always exhibited a love for the language and a great affinity for trying new things and working hard every day. So our French recipient is Isaac Terrell. Thank you, everyone. Well, there are many deserving students, this year's award for overall excellence in mathematics is going to two. These two have set themselves apart with their willingness to work hard, their penchant for problem solving, and their eagerness for extra challenges. Congratulations to Kara Taylor and Paul Lill for overall excellence in mathematics. Hi, I'm Ed Braun, and I'm chair of the Religious Studies Department here at Valley Catholic, and um, I'm here to announce the winner of this year's Excellence in Religious Studies Award, and it goes to a very thoughtful, insightful, and compassionate young lady, Emma Olson. Congratulations, Emma. Hi, I'm Erin Cole, Science Department Chair. The Science Department Awards go to students who show high academic achievement, enthusiasm for learning, and leadership within the department. The Biology Award goes to Olivia Del Planche. The Chemistry Awards go to Cameron Wilder and Connor Bly. And the Physics Awards go to Jeffrey Lynn and Philip Kennard. Congrats, folks, and congrats, Valley Catholic grads of 2020. Hi, my name is Joel Sabatka, and I'm the Athletic Director at Valley Catholic High School. And it is my honor to present the 2019-2020 Senior Athlete of the Year Awards. This year's winners have definitely left a valiant legacy on and off the courts and fields. 
our senior female athlete of the year is Allie Mers, and our senior male athlete of the year is Daniel Pruitt. Congratulations. Hi, I'm John Makovich, president of Valley Catholic School, and I'm here to present the SSMO Spirit Award with Sister Charlene. Sister Charlene is going to begin by giving us a history on this award. The SSMO Spirit Award originated many years ago and has been given to a deserving faculty or staff member who exemplifies and upholds the values and mission of the Sisters of St. Mary of Oregon, who founded the school in 1903. The sisters continue to be grateful for the high quality teachers and staff in our school. Given our unusual and challenging circumstances the, these past few months, our admiration for our teachers and staff has skyrocketed. The purpose of this award is to recognize a faculty or staff member who exemplifies the SSMO heritage and legacy. That includes high teaching standards, commitment to duty with joy, trust that God provides for our needs, and going the extra mile for the sake of the students, among many other outstanding qualities. I have confidence that all of our faculty and staff exhibit these qualities to the best of their abilities. That being said, each year, one person is selected and given the SSMO Spirit Award. Thank you, Sister Charlene. Each year we present the SSMO Spirit Award to a teacher who embodies the core values of the Sisters of St. Mary of Oregon and who is a role model for all of us to emulate. Here are the, some of the ways that this year's recipient has been described. She really knows Valley Catholic School. She's taught here for a lifetime, maybe two. She sets a high bar in her classroom and she pushes students to do their very best. Students are always well prepared for college. She's smart, professional, and surprises us often with her subtle humor. She is highly respected and well liked. We all owe her a debt of gratitude for her work with Valley Catholic students. So, Brenna Brown, for your faithful service to Valley Catholic School and in recognition that you truly embody the spirit of the Sisters of St. Mary of Oregon, we are honored to name you as this year's recipient of the SSMO Spirit Award. The final honor presented at the Class Day celebration is the official announcement of the school's valedictorian and salutatorian. These students have achieved the highest grade point average in their class. The Class of 2020 valedictorians are Elizabeth Smith and Samantha Smith. The Class of 2020 salutatorian is Emma Olson. Ladies, you've worked incredibly hard over the last four years. Congratulations. Before we go, I just want to say that I am so proud to be associated with this community. Parents, teachers, staff, coaches, and especially you, the students, this was such a strange year and such strange times, but I want you to know how grateful I am to be part of this community with you, that we went through this together, and how proud I am of all of you, of each of you. Because this was a time when it was really, really important for us to strive for excellence and to live valiantly. And I certainly believe that we rose to the occasion. Class of 2020, congratulations on all the things that you've accomplished and all that life holds for you in the future. I will never forget you. I will never forget this year. May God bless you. For all of our underclassmen, I am certainly looking forward to getting back together again in the fall. And I pray that that is the way we will be able to do it, to come back together as a community. I hope you all enjoy a restful summer, a safe summer, a healthy summer. And may God bless us all, and we'll see you in September.